Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about solving systems of equations by elimination. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Here's number one on our solving systems of equations by elimination worksheet. This problem gives us two separate equations in our system. The first equation is 3x minus y equals 7, and the second equation is negative 2x plus y equals 2. When you do the elimination method to solve systems of equations, you're going to add each part of your equation vertically so that one or more of the terms will cancel. In the case of solving systems by using the elimination method, you have to visualize how you can add these vertically to see what terms or variables will cancel. Now it does not matter if you cancel out the x or the y, but at least one of them must cancel. We can look at our equations and we can see that if we were to add these straight down, the y's would cancel. So what would happen is you would do 3x plus negative 2x would be 1x, or 3x minus 2x would be 1x, and then negative y plus 1y, so this is negative 1y plus 1y would be 0y and then 7 plus 2 is 9. So in other words, what has happened is we have taken y, because we have 0y now, and we have canceled it out, so it is now gone. So we are left with 1x, or just x, equals 9. So now we know that x equals 9, we can take x equals 9, and we can substitute x equals 9 back into one of our equations. In this case, we're going to take this 9 and we're going to substitute it in back into our first equation. So this 9, because x is equal to 9, can get substituted in for x. So now we have 3 times 9, which is what we substituted in for, minus y equals 7. So now we know x is equal to 9, but we have to find y because we have to know the x and the y coordinate for this solution of this system. So we took our x, which was 9, and we substituted it in for x. Then we're going to simplify this. So 3 times 9 is 27, minus y equals 7. Then we have to solve for y. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 27 from this side, subtract 27 from this side. These cancel. You have negative y equals 7 minus 27 is negative 20. And then we have to get rid of this negative, so we divide both sides by negative 1. So these cancel, and you have positive y equals positive 20. So we know our x-coordinate, we know our y is now 20, so we know that our solution is the coordinate 9, 20. And that's going to be our answer. The next problem on our solving systems of equations by elimination worksheet is number 2. We have x plus y equals 4, and then 2x minus 3y equals 18. When we go to eliminate these, you will notice that if we were to add these straight up or down, nothing would cancel. So if we added these right now, for instance, x plus 2x would be 3x, and then y minus 3y would be negative 2y, and then 4 plus 18 would be 22. Nothing canceled. That means we can't do this we have to multiply one or both equations so that we get a situation where when we add vertically something will cancel. Our first equation can be multiplied so that when we add these they will cancel. Now the easiest thing to multiply the top equation by would be 3 because if we multiplied everything by 3 we would get 3y and then the y's would cancel. So the positive 3y and the negative 3y would cancel when we add it. We could also multiply by negative 2 because if we multiply by negative 2, we could add the x's and the negative 2 and the positive 2x would cancel. So you can pick and choose if you want to do x or if you want to cancel y. In this case, I'm going to cancel y. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and multiply the top equation by 3 so that we will get positive 3 y, and then this times 3. We're multiplying everything times 3, so we have to distribute this 3 to both the x and the y on this side. 
So we're going to say 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times y is 3y, and then is equal to 4 times 3, which is 12. Then our second equation, we don't have to change because we know that this positive 3y and this negative 3y are going to cancel. So we're just going to rewrite the second equation over here as 2x minus 3y equals 18. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add vertically. So we will add both equations together because we know that the y's are going to cancel. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. And then 3y plus negative 3y would be 0y, or the y's would just cancel. And then 12 plus 18 is 30. So now the 0y is gone, so we'll just cancel it like that. We've got 5x equals 30 now. Then in order to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by 5. So these cancel. And then 30 divided by 5 is 6. Now we know x equals 6. We're going to take x equals 6, and we're going to substitute it back into either equation. In the case of this system, it is easiest to substitute the 6 in for the first equation, because our first equation is just x plus y equals 4, and this does not have a coefficient. So we will rewrite our equation. We have x, which is 6, so we substituted 6 in for x plus y equals 4. Then we have to solve for y, so we'll subtract 6 from both sides. These cancel, and we get y equals negative 2. So our solution is x equals 6, y equals negative 2. And that's the answer. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.